Hi, Earthlings. I'm Treese. Do you believe affirmations work? Do your words really have power? I have been wanting to make this video for about six months. I was over at Ian's channel last year and he did this experiment where he yelled at rice. To one pot of rice, he said, I love you, you are so beautiful, everything you do is perfect. And to the other rice, he said, you can do no right, you are terrible, you should not even exist, and such things like that. And well, I'm not much of a cook, so the rice thing was always a problem. <laughs> So I got super lucky. I am in quarantine with my friend Jessica. She's Korean and her family mailed her packets of instant rice. So we're gonna go microwave those and I'll show you how to set up the experiment so you can do it yourself. I have two packets of instant rice. All I have to do is lift the lid and put them in the microwave for one minute each. Now maybe the instant rice will break down quicker than regular rice, but I'm going to do this for five days. I'm going to say loving, supportive things to the rice that I love, and I'm going to say mean, unsupportive things to the rice that I don't love. All things are living things, even our rock, the toaster, everything has energy, everything has a vibration. So the rice is already coming with its own energy and vibration. I really feel like this is a pure perspective of how adding specific energy potentially can change the outcome of everything. Two instant rices made in two minutes. I dug through my mom's sticky notes to remind me which is the hate rice and which is the love rice. I'm going to put on one, I hate you rice, die. I know, really mean. And on the other one, I'm gonna put, I love you rice, the world needs your light. Now my rice is still steaming and it's covered. So I'm gonna, on, on both of them, I'm gonna open the flap. I don't know if the steam's gonna like ruin it. So I'm gonna open the flap on both of them. You can see the steam. And this is the I love you rice. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for hate rice. I have to be kind of quiet because the baby's sleeping, but I think hate is not about the sound level that the words are set at. It's about the intention of the word. So I'm gonna get the hate out first because I wanna end on a high note. I hate you rice. I hope you die. You are the biggest, biggest loser. Die, die, die. Okay, that really felt kind of terrible. I love you, Rice. Grow healthy and strong. You are stronger than you feel. I believe in you. I love you. Be gorgeously you. Now, how long are you supposed to talk to the Rice? I'm gonna talk to him three times a day, morning, noon, and night, for 30 seconds each time. I hope you die, Rice. You are the worst, Rice, and you are not gonna get anything that you want in life. Loser, loser, loser. You are a loser. You make me so happy just by being you. Grow healthy and strong. I am so grateful for you. Bad rice. Bad, bad, bad. Now I'm going to tell you my biggest fear. I already can tell saying these words make me feel bad when I say the bad ones, and I uplift my own spirit when I say the good ones. But my biggest fear is that the rice looks the same in the end. And then my critical mind says, there is no proof to what you do. I guess then you would just have to rely on faith. We gotta do it for 30 seconds. You are terrible rice! Go ahead, say whatever. <coughs> okay, but maybe not beat it. Such a loser! <coughs> this is the love rice. Do you wanna say some nice things? You can't touch it with your tongue, but with your words. I love you, rice. I love you, I love you. You are wonderful. This rice, this rice is going to die today. Die, die, die. I hope you never get to live your dreams. I hope everything sucks for you. I'm gonna put this over here so it's not contaminating my lovely happy rice. Grow, grow, grow. I love you, I love you. You're perfect as you are. Idiot, you You're suck! Bad rice. I want you to die like an old chicken! Yeah. Yeah. With my Every day you you terrible! Grow healthy and strong! Love you, I love you, I love you! 
oh my gosh, guys, you are not going to believe this, or you might believe it. What do you think happened? There is something so different about doing this as opposed to seeing this. So I highly advocate trying this experiment at home. After five days of yelling at the rice, this is what happened for me. Now imagine I only yelled at the rice for 30 seconds, three times a day. That's one and a half minutes in the entire day of talking to it like this. Other than that, I just let it sit and be itself. And why I think that's so important to highlight is because we talk to ourselves in our mind 24 hours a day. Imagine the effects those thoughts have on us. Here's the dye, I hate you rice. Can you see how dry it is on the edges? It's all shriveled up and dried around the edges. I'll try to take it into the light too, just in case. Can't tell which one's better. You can kind of see how dry it is. And this is the I love you rice. Now the interesting thing is I told it to grow healthy and strong. I didn't realize I was doing that till I was watching the playback. But I feel like this one has much more mold than the other one. I think it's from the growing healthy and strong. Besides the mold, it's fluffy. There's no dried up pieces as opposed to this. You see how dried that up that is? That's the hate rice. You guys have probably heard that saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Every time I heard that, I always thought that you had to accept words on an identity level for them to harm you. But I asked myself, did the rice take on the identity of those negative words? Or was the rice just subjected to a stream of negativity or positivity? And because of the environment, it took on the energy of those things. I think it's a combination by changing our environment, by changing how we talk to ourselves, we are able to manifest anything we desire. I don't know if words can accurately convey how powerful this experiment was to me. Of course, at the beginning, I said I wanted it to work. So maybe my belief played a part in it. I'm sure it did. But seeing this effect with only one and a half minutes of attention per day is mind blowing. How much we can destroy or build up just by the slip of our tongue. And I have fallen so much more deeper in love with affirmations. I always love a little proof to see if they really work so I can start building my belief around something. I knew that the affirmations were soothing me. I was falling asleep easier. It felt nice, it felt meditative, but is there a quantitative result? And I knew there was with money because I did this affirmation and money just kept rolling in. But I was wondering about other things like confidence, self-worthiness, optimism. You know, money is only half of the cake. So I would be really curious. Do you use affirmations? Do you find that they work? Do you think that they're stupid? Have you tried this rice experiment? I answer all my comments. So if you leave me a comment, I will chat back with you. Until next time, ciao.